Hi, and welcome to another opportunity to discuss how we can walk in truth. As human beings, we all have the potential to deceive ourselves and others. The Bible warns us against false teachers and false prophets who claim to be speaking on behalf of God, but actually leading people astray. This can be seen in Matthew chapter 24, verse 11, and 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Additionally, James chapter 1, verse 22 reminds us not to be deceptive, deceiving others and deceiving ourselves by only hearing the word of God, but not applying it in our lives. Within the church, deception can occur when people use their position or authority to manipulate or control others. This can lead to spiritual abuse and can cause people to doubt their faith and leave the church altogether. As believers, we must guard against this type of behavior and seek to promote a culture of humility, accountability, and transparency. Outside the church, deception can happen when people misrepresent themselves or their intentions to gain an advantage over others. This can happen in business, politics, or even in personal relationships. As Christians, we are called to be people of integrity, to speak the truth in love, and to treat others with respect and dignity. So how can we overcome deception among followers of Christ and the people around us? One, we can practice discernment. Just as we must be discerning when it comes to the enemy's tactics, we must also be discerning when it comes to the words and actions of others. We can ask God for wisdom and discernment to recognize when someone is being deceptive or manipulative. I advise you to read your Bible for what better way to be discerning than to judge what is around us using God's own words. Two, speak the truth in love. As believers, we must always speak the truth in love. This is seen in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15. When we see something deceptive happening, we can address it in a gentle and respectful way while also standing firm in our convictions. Three, be transparent and accountable. We must be willing to be transparent and accountable to others, both inside and outside of the church. This means admitting our mistakes, seeking forgiveness when we have wronged others, and also being willing to receive correction when needed. In conclusion, deception can happen among followers of Christ and the people around us, and it is important to address this issue. By practicing discernment, speaking the truth in love, and being transparent and accountable, and not forgetting studying the Bible so we can know how to deal with these issues. We can promote a culture of honesty and integrity in our relationships and communities. Let us keep these biblical principles in mind as we strive to live a life that honors God. Thank you for listening and may God bless you and see you next time. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.